Good morning, I'm Simon Gatt for Finance Malta here at the Malta Financial Services Authority. I'm speaking to its chairman, Professor Joseph Bannister, about the regulation of insurance. Good morning, Professor Bannister. Solvency 2 brings risk-sensitive regulation and capital requirement limits to in the insurance sector, the way Basel II did to banking. However, Maltese insurers do not have the long run of historic data to feed into the, the Solvency II models. Is the Maltese insurance sector geared up to accept yes, Solvency II? Yes, um, the sector is gearing up. Uh, remember, in the run-up to Solvency II, we are doing the uh, quantitative impact assessments, the QISs. Uh, today we've reached uh, QIS 5. Uh, under QIS 5 there was a high level of participation. The report has just been published. It's on the, the Malta report on the MFSA website. Um, it's clear now that companies have to decide whether to use an internal model or a standard model. Uh, but by and large, I would say it's, um, it's very good and that uh, we can move forward with the implementation of Solvency II. There are uh, some things, obviously, that we, we are looking at. For example, how does the protected cell company fit in with Solvency II? Uh, we've commissioned a study which is now complete and basically um, treated as a whole, it fits in with the with the Solvency II model. In fact, we're at the stage of preparing guidelines uh, which should be issued uh, within the next couple of weeks because there are a number of PCCs here and how they should be treated. Malta's captive insurance structures and insurance management services have proved their worth and many have come to Malta and have opted to, to act in fact in, in general insurance rather than simply the, as, um, as, as captives. Um, how, how does the MFSA handle the regulation and supervision of a cell in a PCC? The, for a start, there is no distinction. We have a strict definition of a captive. There is no distinction between a captive and an insurance company. They are treated in the same way. In the case of the, of the cells and the PCC, we treat the PCC as a whole. So it's the PCC that has to fulfill the solvency requirements. Then each individual cell is regulated also in the same way as a company. In fact, for tax purposes, it's treated as a deemed company. Mm -hmm. Then we, need, we ensure that it is, it is solvent. It must always be solvent. So Obviously at the, the cell buffer, level as well the, as the... Yes, yes. At the, at the whole structure, there is the buffer. Yes, the at coal the, presumably the, provides the extra. But That's right. The, the core provides the whole extra protection, whilst the cell, uh, the regulator ensures that it is solvent. So the cell has the same reporting requirements as an ordinary company. 